Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about binary search tree and in the previous tutorial we wrote a method for deletion operation that is how we can delete the given node from the binary search tree. While performing the deletion operation in binary search tree we need to be careful about three cases. The case one is whether we are deleting the node with zero child nodes. Case two is whether we are deleting a node with one child node. Case 3 is whether we are deleting the node with two children. We need to write the separate condition for these three cases. And in the previous tutorial we did that. But in any tree, root node is the special node, right? And if I want to delete the root node from the binary search tree, then how to do that? How to write the method for that? Today we'll discuss about that, how to delete the root node from the binary search tree. While deleting the root node also, we need to consider three cases. That is we need to check whether root node is the leaf node or we need to check whether root node contains one child node. If it contains only one child node, we need to write the separate condition. And this third case is when root node contains two child nodes. If I want to delete the root node with two child nodes. In the previous tutorial, we wrote the delete method for uh, all the nodes of the tree, right? Then why we are discussing about this root node deletion separately? That is because the previous method works for this case, but it doesn't work for these two cases. So basically today in this tutorial, we are talking about these two conditions and how to modify the previous delete method so that it will work for the root deletion also. So now when root node is the leaf node, what we need to do? When root node is the leaf node, that means binary search tree contains only one node. All right. If root node is leaf node, that means tree contains only one node. So at that time, I don't want to delete the node. Now in the program, if the user try to delete a node from the tree, when the tree contains only one node, then I'll print a message. You can't perform deletion operation like that. I'll print a message. I won't perform deletion operation when the root node is a leaf node. Simple, right? So now in the program, what we need to do is we need to modify the program for this condition. We need to add this condition to the previous program. Now, as I said, when tree contains only one node, that time root node is the leaf node. So we don't want to perform deletion operation. But how we will get to know that tree contains only one node? For that, first we need to count how many nodes are present in the tree, right? So for that, we need to write the separate function. Yes, I said function, not method. So first I'll show you the binary search tree program. We have class BST in that we have different method like insert method, search method, pre-order, in-order, post-order. Lastly, we have delete method also. Next here you can see root object. Next we have list. Here we are performing insert operation and we are calling pre-order methods. So now we need to modify this program for the case one. That is when root node is the leaf node. Before modifying the program, I'll show you what will happen if we try to delete the leaf node here, okay, in the previous program. Now here you can see this tree contains only one node here, list one is empty. And uh, if I call delete method here, let me call. And if I execute this now, it won't delete the node, okay, here you can see because this code will not work for that case. In the previous tutorial, we didn't include this condition in the program. So now what I need to do first, I need to count how many nodes are present in the tree. Then if count is uh, greater than one, then only I need to perform the deletion operation. If count is one, then I'll print a message. So for that first, I need to find out the count of the nodes in the binary search tree. So for that, I'll define a function outside the class. Okay. I'll define a function. So I'll take function name as count. You can take any name and here I'll take parameter as node. So here I'll use recursion. That's why I'll take base case first. Base case is if node is none, return zero. If node is none, that means we don't have any node in the tree. That's why I'll return zero. Otherwise, how to count the number of nodes present in the tree? First, we need to count the root node that is one plus number of nodes present in the left subtree plus number of nodes present in the right subtree, right? That's what I'll do here. One, this is the count for root node. Then I'll call this function again to find the 
nodes present in the left child so i'll call count node l child and then so this is the base case and here in the recursive case what i am doing here one is nothing but the root node count here number of nodes present in the left subtree plus number of nodes present in the right subtree okay this will give us the count for example now if i call this here print this is the function so you need to take function name and here you need to pass root the object why i am printing this because here we can see this function is returning some value i want to print that that's why i am using print function now if i save this and execute this here you can see count is 1 okay it will give us the count if we have 2 uh, 3 something like this here you can see count is 3 now we know how to find the number of nodes present in the tree now here before performing the deletion operation we need to do this if count of root is greater than 1 then only perform this operation deletion operation else if count is 1 then i'll print a message like this can't perform deletion operation okay now when count is 1 that is when tree contains only one node or we can say when root node is the leaf node now if i try to delete a node from tree and here we need to use a print function okay now i'll delete this i don't want to print the count if you want you can call this function okay so now we are done with the first method we modified our program now this program is working for the first case that is when root node is the leaf node when root node is the leaf node it will print the message that you can't perform deletion operation next let's talk about the next condition that is when root node contains only one child node here let's take one example now here you can see you will get tree like this okay now if i perform the deletion operation on root node now here you can see tree contains more than one node now if i try to delete the root node here here you can see it is not it is not deleting the root node so when we have a root node with only one child node and if i try to delete the root node this program is not working so we need to include that condition in the delete method but this method is working for all other nodes which contains only one child node if i try to delete other nodes which contains only one child node it is working properly but if i try to delete the root node it's not working properly that's why first we need to identify whether we are deleting the root node or not for that first here here while calling the delete method you need to pass another parameter that is root dot key to identify whether we are deleting the root node or not we need to pass the root key also so then here i need to take another parameter current here you can see this is for when tree is empty this condition is not needed actually here if when data is less than self dot key when we want to delete the data which is greater than self dot key if data is not greater than or less than self dot key control will come here so we need to do changes here so when self dot l child is none i'll take temp equal to self dot r child then what i'll do is i'll compare data with here data is nothing but the data of the node which i want to delete here in this variable we have roots key now i'm checking whether we are deleting the root node or not if this condition becomes true that means we are deleting the root node so at that time what i need to do is here when i want to delete the root node when we have tree like this here we can see left child of root node is none when i want to delete the root node now what i'll do is first i'll this is self okay this is self dot r child first what i'll do is i'll copy whatever the key present here to here so i'll take self dot key is equal to self dot r child dot key i'll make it as 15 i want to delete this node right that's why i'll make it as 15 
सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू नीड टू टेक सेल्फ डॉट की इज इक्वल टू सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड डॉट की नाउ वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू कॉपी इट्स लिंक ऑल्सो आर चाइल्ड एंड एल चाइल्ड ऑल्सो सो आई टेक सेल्फ डॉट एल चाइल्ड इक्वल टू सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड डॉट एल चाइल्ड आई कॉपी दिस हियर सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड इक्वल टू सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड डॉट आर चाइल्ड आई एम जस्ट कॉपिंग दिस नोट हियर नाउ वी हैव सेम टू नोट्स नाउ यू कैन डिलीट दिस नोट यू कैन डिलीट दिस नोट नाउ नाउ हियर यू कैन सी डिलीशन इज डन सो टू डिलीट द रूट नोट वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वील रिप्लेस द रूट नोट विद द इट्स राइट चाइल्ड सो इन द प्रोग्राम आई नीड टू टेक सेल्फ डॉट की इज इक्वल टू सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड डॉट की हियर आई टूक टेम्प इक्वल टू सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड सो आई कैन टेक टेम्प डॉट की सेल्फ डॉट एल चाइल्ड इक्वल टू टेम्प डॉट एल चाइल्ड आई एम जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग द रूट नोट विद इट्स आर चाइल्ड सेल्फ डॉट आर चाइल्ड इक्वल टू टेम्प डॉट आर चाइल्ड नाउ आई डिलीट टेम्प सो टेम्प इक्वल टू नन टेम्प इज नथिंग बट द राइट चाइल्ड नाउ आई डिलीट दैट नेक्स्ट आई यूज रिटर्न हियर दिस इज वेन वी हैव रूट नोड एंड इट्स लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज नन वॉट इफ इट्स लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज प्रेजेंट बट राइट चाइल्ड इज नन सो हियर वी नीड टू राइट द कंडीशन फॉर दैट सो हियर आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस and here after taking temp equal to self dot l child you need to copy that that's it here also when self dot r child is none i'll take temp equal to self dot l child and i'll check whether we are deleting the root node if you are deleting the root node what i'll do i'll replace the root node with the its l child next i'll delete the l child and we are done to replace what i'm doing is i'm just copying its content its key and its l child and r child so now we are done so let's execute this and we'll see whether it will work for this condition or not and now here you can see 10 is deleted now if i take it as 11 and 12 now 3 is like this now if i execute this here you can see it is working so this is to delete the root node when it contains only one child node next If you want to delete the root node which contains two child node how to do that no need to do any changes to this program this program works fine when you want to delete the root node which contains two child node okay so for example if i have this and if i execute this now okay sorry i explained you about this current right here you need to include that important here right Whenever you are calling the delete method, you need to add the second parameter also in the function call. Whenever you are calling this delete method, you need to include current here. Okay, so here also. Just forgot that. So now we are fine. So now if I execute this, here you can see twelve and one. Or uh, ten is deleted, and twelve uh, will replace the ten. So here we'll get this. Okay, so this is about the delete method. That is how we can delete the root node in the binary search tree. I know delete method became very lengthy. So now, if you have any shorter method or efficient method, then you can share your code with us. So it may help many people. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you next class. Till then, take care.